G'day Life Rockers. Welcome back to Life Rocks TV. I am your host Jabba and I am standing here next to the Southern Ocean and it is absolutely beautiful. Hello Ocean! The waves are rolling in, the surfers are out surfing, there's ships passing by and birds flying in the sky. It is all happening. I'm perched up here on these sand dunes which go down to the beach and then out to the sea. And that is just one example of one of the landscapes we find here on Earth. Yes, our planet is full of different landscapes, from mountain ranges, to rivers, to giant rock formations. And on today's episode, we're going to look at how our landscapes are affected by time, weather, and gravity. And Right now as we speak, our very cosmic friend, Leroy Yeehaw McCaw, is on his way down to Earth. And I have set him the mission to find our friend, Digger Doug, who is an expert on landscapes. Over to you, Leroy. All right, so here I am down under in New South Wales uh, on a farm, and uh, let's go find Digger Doug, see what he's up to. G'day Leroy, what a pleasure it is to see you down under on the farm. Hey, guess what? We got some of the best soil around. Come and take a look. All right, come on in, come on in. My man Digger Doug. Oh, well, downright dirty dingoes if it ain't me old mate Leroy. Put it right there. Oh, hang on a second, I forgot the secret soil handshake. Oh, don't handshake. forget the secret oh, soil there it handshake. Is. Well, hi Dave. Hi Dave. Great to see you. Are we going to fling shovels as well? One, One two, two, three, three. And we are grounded. Oh, well, g'day you crazy kookaburras. Come and take a look at this awesome experiment I've got planned for you guys today. Now these are all of the soil components that create the landscapes as we know them. Normally, soil is all mixed together and it looks something like this. But today, I've separated all the little bits so that we can study how they all work together within a landscape. First of all, this is organic material. It's like a compost and you can see the leaf litter and broken down plant material in it, little bits of sand. And this is typically what you will find on the surface of a forest floor. Next up, this is the subsoil. Subsoil has less organic life and more clay and sand in it, and it's still good for plant growth. Over here we have sand, and sand is a massive part of soils. It's broken down sandstone rock, and it is the biggest particle that we'll find in soils. And over here we have some volcanic stone that as it breaks down, turns into silt and feeds the earth with rich minerals. Clay is another very important part of soils because it is the smallest particle size and it can stick together, holding moisture in the soils. And as you go deeper down into the earth, you'll eventually hit the bedrock, granite, stone, hard rock that sits deep below the surface. Now we know what all the soil components are, and we're gonna bring them all together into a miniature landscape and study how time, weather, and gravity affect our landscapes. Hot damn. <laughs> Don't try that at home. All right, so here we are. We're working on our landscape. Here we got our mountain range up here. And we got, we're gonna have like a mountain spring, which is gonna feed water into this river here, which runs down the mountain. And we've packed the riverbed with clay because that's what water runs the best on. And it's heading out this way towards Digger Doug. And all water flows out to the ocean my life rocks friends so we're going to create a beach and let this water flow from the spring all the way down through the mountains out to the ocean <music> We 
be right back after these jokes. What do you call a man with a shovel? What's that, Leroy? Doug. Oh, that's my name. And what do you call a man without a shovel? Well, I don't know. Douglas. <laughs> well, we're having some fun now. We're getting a little bit creative using these pine cones to make like a little forest. We got some banks here over here and some other plant life. And our landscape is really coming along. This is so much fun. Well, hot diggy dog, we have got our landscape here. We have created it out of all the different soil components. And what are you calling it again? Crikey, mate, it's Landscape Island. Welcome to Landscape Island. We got the sand all the way around the edge. We've got our mountain range. We've got our forests and we've got our riverbed laid out so the water can run out to the ocean. And I almost forgot we got our little friend Bing Bong who is lazing on a banana lounge on our little beach down here. Bing Bong, Bing Bong, Bing Bong. All right, now all we need is a little bit of rain for our landscape island. And I believe Digger Doug knows a special rain dance. Now, unfortunately, it rained on the next door neighbor's farm, so uh, we're going to have to use a hose instead. Just a light rain moistening up the landscape. And as the rains gather, they start to fill up the riverbeds. Why does it always rain on me? Bing bong, bing bong. Bing bong. Well, hot damn, it's running out to the ocean. Here we go. We got our river running all the way down from the mountain and it's flowing all the way down out to the ocean. And it's just getting there now. Look out, Bing Bong, you're gonna get wet. Bing Bong. All right, Life Rockers, today we have discovered how one, gravity affects a landscape because water travels downhill to the lowest point. Two, we've discovered how weather, rain patterns or flood patterns will move and shape landscapes as the water twists and turns and distributes plant and mineral material all across the landscape. And three, time. As time goes on, all the particles settle into their different little areas and harden and harden and harden into these layers that form the earth beneath us. So Digger Doug, I got kind of like a silly idea. Tell me about it, Leroy. So I was thinking maybe uh, we could take Bing Bong. Bing bong. and see if he wants to like go for a bit of a float down the river all the way from the top of the mountains to the ocean. Do you think we could do that? Well, let's give it a shot. Well, hi diggy dog. I have found the perfect little raft for our friend Bing Bong and he's going to take a ride from the top of the mountain all the way down to the ocean. All right, bring me the river. Cow bonga. Let's uh, go, go Bing Bong. To the sea. To the ocean. Go Bing Bong. Go Bing Bong. Go Bing Bong. Go. Oh, hot damn. Where'd you go, Bing Bong? Oh, I got him. It's all right. All right, you can hang out on the beach, Bing Bong. We got our next silly idea. We're going to see what happens if we create like a bit of an earthquake and volcano type scenario. Not all changes on Earth happen slowly over time. Some of them happen very quickly. All right, we got ourselves a volcano in it. It's a volcano. Holy smokes. Well, heck, we got a meteor coming in from outer space. Looks like it's going to hit our landscape island. Let's see what happens. Oh, flash flood! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're gonna cut there because it's getting a little bit silly down on the farm. But thank you both so much for that epic experiment and for showing us how our landscapes are affected by time, weather, and gravity. And I would encourage all of you watching to have a go at that same experiment yourself. Create a mini landscape out of soils and see how the water works its way through. And thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Life Rocks TV. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos and we will see you back here next time. And whatever you do, do not forget that Life Rocks. Okay, bye.